Four Investigates has discovered a high school driving instructor has been kicked off campus because of a sexual harassment complaint. Our Ryan Laughlin reveals what an internal school investigation found out and also why some Bernalillo High School staff are facing consequences. It happened behind closed doors. There are serious allegations that are going on right now. During class at Bernalillo High School. A mother describes her daughter's trauma. Now one man is banned from campus. And a criminal investigation is under review. A driving instructor conducted his classes here in the gym at Bernalillo High School. But it's what happened on Valentine's Day this year that got him banned from all Bernalillo public school property. A mom new to this country shares her daughter's story with investigators. State police are looking into a possible sexual contact of a minor and trying to figure out what happened with a massage gun, driving school instructor and former police officer, Eddie Torres, and a female high school student. Four investigates dug up the internal Bernalillo Public Schools investigation with multiple witness statements from students and staff and a first-hand account from the girl herself. Through a translator, the student says she asked for the athletic trainer to massage her leg cramps, but the gym teacher. So I called him to come back, and now I regret it, honestly. Melissa Aguilar called Torres to come and assist with the massage. He had massaged her in the gym without a problem the day before. This time, the girl's statement says he took her to the weight room and while alone and laying on a bench, Torres placed my right leg on his shoulder and he went up the side of the buttock and stayed too long in this area. Then he went to the inner thigh, pretty high to the groin and did not ask if he could massage that way. When my leg was on his shoulder, I screamed because of the pain. Her mom tells police. I was in shock and scared. I told him that doesn't hurt in there. But he insisted the massage wasn't done yet, her statement says. Then she says when other students entered the room, Torres stopped and moved away from those areas. I didn't think that what he was doing, you know, was intentional if he made her feel uncomfortable. The student says she told Aguilar what happened and she didn't believe me and that Torres is a good person. Is that all you guys need or do you need more? Is, is that all you know of it? Um, then Aguilar tells police. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm related to him. What's your guys' relationship? We're cousins. Cousins? Through marriage and also my husband is cousins to him. That's not the only person the student told. She also told the person qualified to treat leg cramps, Julian Lucero. She says Lucero was in shock when she told him and he told her not to tell anyone else what had happened. You're not in trouble or anything like no, that? I <laughs> she also told her student success coach, Alma Salinas, who works with English as a second language students. So it sounds like you knew the right thing to do, mm -hmm. but you just didn't follow through. Yes. It, right? Yeah. It wasn't Lucero or Salinas or Aguilar that properly reported the incident. It was Torres himself who alerted the school after a call with his cousin. So we went to his house. I'm Ryan, I'm a reporter with KOB4. I'm, I'm looking for Eddie Torres. May I ask why? Uh, I'm reporting on the, the ban at Bernalillo Public Schools. He then surprised us. I'm no longer banned from the schools. You're no longer banned from the schools? No, I'm not. Uh, who, who do I follow up with? Who said that? Who said what? No. Who said that you weren't banned from the schools? Uh, the superintendent, Matthew Montano. Matthew Montano? Yep. So are, are driving classes uh, back on there? Go talk to Matthew Montano. We found that's not true. According to school district officials, Torres is banned from all Bernalillo Public School property because of recent violations and a sexual harassment complaint. And the contract with his company, Coach Al's Driving School, is terminated. Do you want to say anything about the allegations? Yeah, everything was false. Uh, all the allegations were false, and I have, I've been cleared by the state police and the Bernalillo Town of Bernalillo Police. Um, the criminal investigation was forwarded to the DA's office. It's still under review there. Okay. Torres is not criminally charged, but he's not cleared. 
District Attorney Barbara Romo's office is reviewing the evidence to make that determination. And the girl's mom? She still has a question. She doesn't know how he got, like, he got access to her when he's not in charge there. The school district would not go on camera to answer that, but sent us an email saying because driving instruction requires behind the wheel driving hours, Torres was allowed on and off campus at various times. Do you want to address the specific allegations? No, I don't. An email for Investigates dug up shows Torres told his clients because of a venue issue, all future driver's ed classes will be held at their Albuquerque location, the Unser Racing Museum. State police were not the first law enforcement agency to investigate this. When the girl's family heard about what happened to her, they called police for help. And it was the town of Bernalillo police that got that call and the student resource officer at Bernalillo High School that volunteered to investigate. And this is the report that he filed. He found that no crime had been committed. But when school officials saw that and the allegations from their own investigation, an administrator says, quote, I am not completely confident with the conclusions and I am concerned about this incident. And that is what led state police to taking this case. What happens next will be up to the district attorney's office and four investigates will be following. I'm Ryan Laughlin. Now, as for that school employee you heard from, Melissa Aguilar, she told state police that she had been written up by the school after they conducted their own internal investigation. Four investigates did ask if any other school staff were disciplined for not properly reporting the incident, but Bernalillo School District officials told us they simply don't comment on personnel issues.